Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful lacy gloves easy to make using only one stitch. Hi, this is the materials you're going to need. A light colored yarn. I am using an acrylic brand because it does stretch and thin. You want it nice and thin. I took a medium kind of uh, weight just because for demonstration purposes it looks better. And a medium sized crochet hook or small if you're using a thinner yarn. Start by making a slip knot, wrap it around your two fingers once, tuck it in the back, insert your crochet hook and pull. Okay, pick up your yarn and start making chain. You want to be making your chain in multiples of three, so count your chain till you get the desired length up. So one, two, three, four, five. So I chained up 27 and I'm going to just put this down and put my elbow there to measure. So I want my glove to be from here all the way to the edge of my finger. So that is the length I want. So I have 27 on the hook. Okay. I wanted to show you why we're crocheting this way as opposed to that way. If we were crocheting this way from the bottom, let's say from here up, so when you actually put it on and stretch it, this is what happens. Okay, you kind of lose the lace because it kind of gets, the more stretchy you get, it just kind of bundles on itself and it slips down. So by crocheting it this way, we're stretching it over and look at the beautiful pattern that we get. And the best thing at all, it doesn't slip down. It doesn't have to be tight, tight to get the nice, beautiful pattern. Now that we measured and we know that it's, that's the length we want, we want to add three stitches and that'll be for our turnaround. So just add three more chain. One, two, three. Okay, now that we got this, let's begin. So first row, what we want to do is we're going to um, crochet into the second chain. So this is our second chain. We're going to insert our hook in there, yarn over, pull through once, yarn over, pull through two. This is our single crochet stitch and now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And now we're going to skip two. So let's look at our chain. There's one, and there's two, and we're going to go into our third. So we're going to insert into our third yarn over, pull through once, yarn over, pull through two. It's our single crochet stitch. And now we're going to chain four. So one, two, three, four. And again, we're going to look at our chain and we're going to skip one, two, and insert into our third. So we insert our crochet hook in there, pull yarn over, pull through once, yarn over, pull through both. A single crochet stitch. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Skip two and into our third. Insert our hook, yarn over, pull through once, yarn over, pull through both. Chain four, two, three, four. Skip two and insert into our third. And that is our pattern all the way to the end. I've come to the end. So at this point, let's just do the final stitch. So one, two, three, four, and we're going to insert again into our last, which should be one, two, into our third one. So skipping two and the last one is the third. So you should have no chain left. So that's the end of our first row, which is starting to build our little lace. Now we're going to turn around, so we're going to turn our work around and we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and now do you see these loops? We're going to be single crocheting into each loop. So just insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. Chain four. One, two, three, four. 
going into the next loop which is right here. So inserting our hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two. So that's our pattern all the way across till we get to the end. I'll show you how to finish that end because it's just a bit different. So, one. so we come to the last stitch and I want to show you how we create this edge going this way. So normally you would go in here and then, but for the very last one we don't. So when you get to the second last one, after you chain up four, what we want to do is start creating a post. Since there's four, we chaining up four, so it should always be four in the loop. We're going to leave two as our post and go into the third one. So you should have one extra one there. So we're going to go in here and we're going to single crochet into that and this will create a little edge going all the way up. So now we turn our work and we chain four. Okay, and now we carry on going into single crochet into our loop. Okay, and chaining four again and into our loop all the way across. And I'm reaching the end of this row. So there's our four. And that's the end of the row here. So, and again, instead of the hoop, I go into the post. So make sure the post is too high because you should have four because that's our chain. Also one, two, and then make sure it's too high. So you want to go in here and you'll see how that comes into play once we um, turn around. Okay, and we single crochet and turn, and let's chain four. And um, you keep carrying on until you get the desired, um, you know, uh, the width all the way around your arm. So, and then we'll stretch and we'll make it fit. Okay, I'll come back once I finish. So keep going all the way to the end following the same pattern. So I've come to the end, I'm just gonna pull this hook and take that out, and I'm gonna measure. So I'm gonna put my hand in there. So it looks really good here and here, and it's a little tight and that's what I want. So I know it's gonna fit nicely once it's sewn together. So I'm happy with that. And now I'm gonna do is reinsert my hook and pull it. So we have been crocheting this way along. Now we're gonna turn. We're gonna turn because this part is gonna be around our knuckles. So we're just gonna be turning it sideways. So we'll be working along there. And this is why you were building crocheting into the posts to get an edge, which makes it easier for you to crochet. So let's chain one. And we're gonna single crochet into each stitch. Now, if you look here, you'll see that the V's that you normally get are kind of non-existent and it, it is a little busy. So you're gonna have to kind of just really try and, and work on to each stitch. If you can go under the V, then go into the chain. So you should have some chain. So you'll have these here and you'll have chain here. So let's just find whatever we can get. So here's the first V. I can go here. So I'm going to single crochet into that. And then here I have no V, so I'm going to go into the chain. You know how you had the two spaces in between? So basically you're doing two into the chain, single crocheting stitch. So there's one. Here's my other one going right into the chain. And then the third one will be in the post. The post will have a V, okay? So you can go under the V or you can just go straight into the chain for the uniform look. I'm gonna go straight into the chain. So you should have three per loop. Okay, so there's again, there's my chain now. So this is how you keep count. So you should have two into the loop. So if you look at it, this is our loop. You should have two chains up above. Okay, so, and of course it is going to be tight in some part and just try to work your way out. There's no, no hurry and just force your way in. So there's one, there's my second one. And the third one will be right into my post. So there's my post and we're going to go right into the post. And again, you don't have to go under the V, just find a loop and work at it. It makes it simpler and more uniform. Okay, so now we did the post, and so now we have two more into this loop. So keep doing that all the way around until you get to the end. And I'm going to show you how to finish your work after that on that side. 
So I finished going across the edge and it looks great. My edge is nice and clean. Now I'm going to turn my work and now I'm going to combine the two parts and sew them together. By sewing, I mean crocheting them together. We crochet, not sew. So let's pick up our yarn and we're here. So we're going to chain one and let's find the edge here. And there's our edge. Let's insert our hook and let's slip stitch to join. So pick up a yarn pull through this side, pull through that side. And there you should have a joint now. So now, again, if you look at this, you'll have kind of a rough edges going and I don't want you to go under V's or whatever because that makes it too thick. So I want you to go one loop into one loop. So find it first here. So first is our post. We did this, we combined our single crochet. Now with the next one is a post one. So find the one stitch here and the one on this side, which is right there. And I did under the V's for this one. And yarn over, pull through all of them and pull through the last one. Slip stitch to join all the way down. So now we're into it, see hole and hole, how this is all matched. So now remember there's two stitches here and two stitches there. Actually there's, because we chained four. So we have one, two, three. But if this is not crucial because you're just joining them. So you can miss one or not miss one, it's all good. So you're going into the chain of the loops, one on one. And as long as it kind of matches, it doesn't have to be exact. And all through, slip stitch to join. So into the next one here, into the next one here. So just kind of get your, um, you know, you kind of eyeball it. But you can see when the holes are combined, the loops and the post. So next one is post and post. So I will go into my post here and into my post here and slip stitch to join. So went through all of them. The next one is my loop here and my loop here. So I will find my first little hook here on this side and then my little top of my chain on the, sec on the loop on the other side. Yarn over and slip stitch. Pull through and pull through. So we reached the end. So now what we want to do, we want to do the same little rim like we did on this side. So by doing that, we'll do the same pattern. Chain one and we're going to go two in the loop, one in the post, two in the loop, one in the post, two in the loop, one in the post. That way we have a nice even. Okay, doing single one first. So I'm going to go into my first loop here and slip stitch. This is my second one. It's a little hard to see because we have this little guy there from our, there's my post. So I'm going to go into my post, slip stitch to join, and then two in the loop. And so you, you want to keep going all the way around to doing the same thing. So two in the loop, one in the post. So make sure you have that same pattern going and this way you'll get a nice, not too tight, not too loose. And I should mention it at some point, if you want to tighter in the front than you do at the top, what you do is you just create an extra stitch by just going twice into the same one a couple of times. Then it'll create a nice little wider. And if you want to tighter, just skip a stitch. Okay, so keep on going till you get to the end. And I'll show you how to finish it. So I've come to the end. This is my last stitch right there. And I'm going to slip stitch to join this area. There, and now I'm going to cut my yarn. And yarn over and pull the tail through and tighten it. And this was, remember, our little... Okay, and we're all done. Come to the end and see how these two tail ends meet. You can either take a crochet needle or you hook or your fingers, whatever, and you're supposed to weave in the ends. So you weave it in along the posts here. So you can weave it in a couple of times this way and then a couple of times that way, just so it tightens it up. And then what you do and you just use your scissors and you cut it okay, near the end. Now we turn it the right way around. Okay, and we put it on. Just find a hole, any hole, and stick your thumb through it. 
pull it up. That's how it looks. Beautiful.